What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's quick tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how you can actually back up or move all your entire iPhone storage into iCloud so you can actually save a lot of space in here and reduce the content or data that you've got in here on your iPhone. This means all your photos, your videos, your files as well, and pretty much everything in order to free up a lot of space in here. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues and I also share cool tech hacks. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So first things first, here I am on my iPhone. Let's quickly hop into settings real quick and then we'll be here on this page right here, right? So if you quickly tap here, for example, on your iCloud details, if you scroll down and tap on iCloud, you can see in here that you've got some space left. Okay, so in my case, I've got in here 33 gigabytes of storage of free space in here, okay, which I haven't used used yet and this is space that can help me out i can upload my stuff to my icloud drive and i can keep my phone storage even less full okay for example here i've got uh, a few gigabytes left on my icloud drive but if i hop back here into settings real quick and if i tap on general and if i go all the way to iphone storage you can see that my phone is almost full okay we've got 124 gigabytes of storage being used and i only have approximately three gigabytes of storage left on my iPhone, okay? This is the storage of my device in here. This is the size of all data that I've got in here on my phone. And as we can see, I've got more space on my iCloud drive. So that's the concept of this video. I'm gonna show you how you can move files and transfer your data from your phone and occupy this iCloud space left in here that we've got. So very first thing we're gonna be doing in here is to actually go back as I was showing in here, hop into general, tap on iPhone storage and you need to give a look at what is actually occupying space on your phone. Okay, that's the very first step. You wanna identify that and you wanna make sure you actually start app by app transferring what occupies more space into your iCloud drive. Now, very first thing that I would recommend you guys to start with is photos, okay? So 80% of iPhone users do have a lot of space being occupied by photos and videos. And this is the app photos. It's not just photos, but it means videos as well as you can see I've got over nine gigabytes of storage in here on my iPhone device I want to move all that to my iCloud drive now the very first thing you're gonna do in here is go back go back again and then hop all the way here to your iCloud again and then tap on iCloud and next up over here you'll tap on save to iCloud you've got see all in here tap once on see all and you'll be able to see every single app using iCloud this is very important as you can see in here we've got save to iCloud we've got all the apps in here and what you want to do is simply scroll down and make sure that the apps that are occupying a lot of space are actually turned on so the very first thing that we're looking at is photos right so tap on iCloud photos and make sure that over here we've got the option sync this iPhone turned on this is very 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 important because if it's turned off your photos and your videos are gonna remain here on your photos library so you want to make sure you toggle this on and next up once you're done toggling that on, go down here and check the status. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a status in here which says syncing paused. Okay, this is because right now it's not syncing due to some specific reason that I don't know right now. This could be your internet speed, for example. This can be your battery level. If your phone is, for example, on low battery mode or if you don't have a lot of charge on your phone, your phone will not synchronize because this will consume a lot of your power in here. Okay, so what it does is usually your iPhone synchronizes all your data during sleep time, during the night when your phone is connected to the charger. but if you are in a situation where you really want to back up, you can force it by tapping on sync now, okay? So if you tap on sync now, it's going to ask you whether you want to resume the syncing or whether you want to start it from scratch. Simply tap on resume syncing and this will start syncing the files. As you can see, it's syncing a lot of pictures and videos in here. We've got 1017 items being transferred to my iCloud drive at this specific moment right here. This is something that you just need to be patient and wait and I would recommend you guys if you're doing this connected to the Wi-Fi in order to have a much faster connection, a much faster process, and also avoid a lot of data consumption in here, okay? Because this is a lot of files being uploaded. Next up, Another option which is very important to turn on is optimize iPhone storage. This is very important. You need to keep it on optimized iPhone storage in order to actually upload and then decrease the size 
on your phone. Because if you simply keep it on download and keep originals, it's gonna upload as a backup. It won't reduce the size on your phone. So if you tap on optimize iPhone in storage, it's gonna upload and in specific scenarios, your phone will be very smart. It will not store those really heavy files of photos and videos. It will open it or it will download it as soon as you try to open a specific photo. Okay, for example, I'll give you an example. Let's say that I open up photos in here. For example, if my photos are all uploaded and for example, I select on a specific image in here, what will happen? It will show up the low quality and in a few seconds gonna download from the iCloud drive at that specific moment okay so you're gonna need internet connection in order to access in HD the photo or video that you actually have synchronized here on iCloud so now let's keep waiting until this process is complete of course it takes some time okay let's hop back into settings real quick now if you're having issues if you have a different software version and you're unable to find out that specific page where I was, you can scroll down, tap on apps down here, and then scroll down all the way to photos, right? You've got in here photos down here, tap on photos, and then make sure that you have iCloud photos turned on, which is the same option we've got there, right? And then make sure that optimize iPhone storage is also turned on in order to reduce the size of your library down here on your phone, right? So this is the very first step in order for you to double check photos, which consumes a lot of storage. Next up, simply hop into general again, tap on iPhone storage and double check the other apps, which are consuming a lot of storage, right? Now, another thing I would recommend you guys to do is to actually check the files that you've got on your phone. Files don't always show up in here, but as you can see, we've got in here iCloud Drive. We've got a few gigs in here being occupied. And if I open it, we've got in here the most recent files which have been accessed and have been kept offline on my phone, okay? So these are normally files which are in my phone physically stored. So in order to get access to those files, what you need to do is go back to the home page real quick and then simply search here for files. You want to open up files in here, okay? This is a very important process as well. So over here on files, we've got this section in here where we have on my iPhone, okay? So if you tap here on on my iPhone, you have access to many files in here which are physically stored on your iPhone device. So what you want to do, for example, if I go back and if I tap here on downloads, downloads are also files which have been downloaded to my phone, okay? So if I tap here on downloads and if I, for example, tap on these three dots, which is an easier way to find out the heaviest files, simply tap on size. This will sort the files according to their size. And as you can see, the file which occupies a lot of space on my phone is this one right here. If I press and hold on it, and then I tap here on get info, you can see that this file alone occupies over nine gigabytes of storage. This is a lot of storage being occupied here by a simple file that I downloaded months and months ago, okay? So what I would recommend you guys to do is to actually locate these files. For example, I've got this one right here and then move it to your iCloud drive. For example, let me press and hold it and then I'm gonna tap here on move. Okay, we've got the move option, tap on move. And then next up, you wanna go back and make sure that you select iCloud drive. We've got iCloud drive in here, which is everything which is in your drive. So tap on move and this should move that specific file. It has vanished from my phone. It went all the way to my iCloud drive. It's gonna take its time, but this is the process in order for you to transfer files and data here physically stored from your files all the way to your iCloud drive. Now you want to double check because you do have a lot more files besides this one. So double check every file and make sure you move all files from your phone into your iCloud drive. Now next up you want to double check other apps as well. For example if I hop into WhatsApp we've got in here the app size and then we've got the documents and data. Okay so if you go with offload app this is a feature that works with any other app not just one up. If you tap on offload app, what happens is the following. The app size gets deleted and the storage remains on your phone, but at least you can reduce a bit here on your app size. I don't really use this feature because it's not very, very, very helpful. It doesn't make a lot of difference, but it helps in a specific way because in this case, the application doesn't get physically stored on your phone until you tap on the app to open it. It's going to connect to the internet and download the app at that specific moment that you wish to actually 
actually access that specific application okay so it's also a good one now other thing that i would recommend you guys to do that you can do to actually not move files but to free up a bit of storage on your phone is to delete temporarily downloaded files okay for example if you're running really really out of storage if i open up for example facebook okay we've got in here the app size of facebook and then you've got in here the documents and data of course that i don't download anything on facebook but the simple fact that you've opened facebook today there are specific photos and videos which have been temporarily stored on your phone for two to three days so if you simply delete the app and then re-download it and then re-log in into your Facebook application, this will delete over one gigabyte of storage from your phone. This because your phone temporarily downloads and stores cache files, okay? If I open up, for example, Facebook real quick in here, all these files have been downloaded to my phone. For example, let me quickly turn off my wireless connection or my internet connection. And if I simply tap, for example, on this story right here, it's gonna load, or this one, it's gonna load. This one's loading, right? Right? because it has already downloaded it. I don't have internet connection, but it's loading, right? And if I go next, okay, the second one didn't download, but it temporarily downloads files for you to scroll. I'm scrolling, but I haven't downloaded. I don't have internet right now, right? But it's showing because it's already saved into my phone. This is an automatic process that Apple does, your iPhone does, in order to maintain convenience and make you browse in a much faster way. It's called buffer, okay? So this is something that you also wanna do specifically in apps such as YouTube. If you've watched recently a video, it temporarily download it to your phone so you want to make sure you reinstall the app and this will free up a lot of storage as well thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if this video was really helpful for you do like the video subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments section if you've got any doubt and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and i'll see you in the next one have a great day